We begin by pressing the button down here, the power button. Once it's pressed, it awaits user command. So the user first indicates that he wants to fill up the spoon with food. LED here blinks to indicate that he cannot press buttons due to motor moving. The sensor, the infrared sensor at the top of the, uh, the head of the, the arm over there will try to find food. It will move in increments of about approximately spoonfuls until it locates a f distance that indicates food. Now here we'll watch it try to... It locates food, picks it up, and leaves it level position until the user presses another command that will send it to the mouth. It rises, maintaining stability, preventing spillage, rotates to the user's mouth where it awaits until he removes the food at his own pace. Up here we have a sensor, the same sensor that was used to find food is also going to be used as a safety measure. We'll show that right now. So we'll send it first back to the plate to get another spoonful, assuming that the user consumed that one. Okay. Now it's going to... It sees the same spoonful, so it fills it up. Now it waits. When I send it to the mouth this time, I'm going to put my hand in the way to indicate that the user, for example, his head might have been way too close to the arm. I do this, and it bounces back in an immediate safety measure to prevent the user from being hit or struck accidentally. And goes back to repeats the process searching for food. And as you can see, it bounces back to where it left off from the first time, if it doesn't find food in the original position. Once it finds food, here we go. Once the user is done eating, he can send it to rest. He can send it to rest at any time during its... Um, during, during the process, if, for example, he wants to stop for a second to do something else.